we are working on chapter number one, which is variations in psychological attributes. In our last lecture, we understood about definition of intelligence by David Breschler and theories of intelligence by Charles Spearman and L. L. Thurston. Today, we are going to take up theories by Raymond Cattle and J. P. Guilford. Raymond B. Cattle gave two kinds of intelligence: fluid and crystallized intelligence. Raymond B. Cattle used the statistical method of factor analysis to come up with his theory of intelligence which looks at intelligence in terms of two abilities or two kinds of capacities which are fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. Fluid intelligence is a general capacity or factor which is determined through genetic factors. So fluid intelligence is very close to Spearman's general factor. Crystallized intelligence, on the other hand, refers to specific knowledge gained as a result of applying fluid intelligence to life's experiences. So, crystallized intelligence is the specific knowledge or specific abilities which one gains by applying the fluid intelligence to different kinds of activities. Fluid intelligence is very close to Spearman's G factor or general ability. Fluid intelligence sets the limit on our crystallized abilities, which means that the general capacity or fluid intelligence which one has determines to what extent the person is able to achieve crystallized intelligence or specific knowledge. So fluid intelligence is a general capacity which a person has and crystallized intelligence is an acquired capacity which the person acquires by using fluid intelligence and applying fluid intelligence to various problems or areas in one's day-to-day -day life. Fluid intelligence reaches a peak during teen years and it is more or less governed by genetic factors. So it is genetically given. Crystallized intelligence on the other hand refers to specific knowledge which we acquire as a result of application of fluid intelligence in life. According to Cattle, crystallized intelligence continues to grow well into adulthood whereas fluid intelligence reaches a peak during teen years beyond which it does not grow further. Coming to the structure of intellect model given by J.P. Guilford, Guilford too used factor analysis and came up with a theory of intelligence which is called the structure of intellect model. According to this model, intelligence can be understood in terms of three functions which are operations, content and product. Operations are the mental processes performed by humans, for example, thinking and memory. These are mental processes which we perform on stimuli which we get from our environment. Content refers to the kinds of information on which operations are performed. So content is that information on which the operation is being performed. For example, if you are solving a mathematical problem, the content is the mathematical problem and the operation that you apply may be application of algebra or application of logical reasoning. Product refers to what results from applying a particular operation on a particular content. So when you apply operations on certain content or when you apply mental processes on certain kinds of information, what results is what we term as products. We'll understand this as we go further. Now here is the model given by J.P. Guilford which talks about the contents, operations and products. There are five kinds of contents, visual, auditory, symbolic, semantic and behavioral. Five kinds of operations, evaluation, divergent production, convergent production, memory and cognition. And when operations are applied to contents, there are six kinds of products which result, which are units, classes, relations, systems, transformations and implications. As we have already understood, contents refer to the kind of information which is available to us in the environment. Visual content is the information that we collect through our visual apparatus. Auditory is something that we collect with the use of ears. Symbolic refers to information in the environment in the form of symbols. All the mathematics that you do is in the form of symbols. Semantic refers to meaning in any information. 
so when you read a sentence and try to grasp its meaning that is when you are operating on a content which is in the semantic form behavioral content refers to the body movements so when you are learning dance and trying to imitate what your teacher is telling you then you are performing on uh, information which is in the form of behavioral responses or patterns coming to operations evaluation refers to judging something or making a decision about something divergent production as we understood when we learned about thinking in class 11 divergent thinking refers to coming up with new solutions to a problem divergent production then means that one is operating on the contents in novel ways or in original ways in new ways convergent production on the other hand entails operating on the information in the environment in a way which is the correct way so convergent thinking as we understood in class 11 refers to coming up with solution to a problem which is the correct solution so you converge upon a correct solution in the same way convergent production entails working on contents or information in the environment in a way which is considered to be the correct way memory is again another operation which is storage and retrieval of information so you may perform memory operation on any of the contents that we had understood coming to cognition cognition refers to thinking so you can apply thinking as an operation to any of the contents visual auditory symbolic semantic or behavioral so when we apply these operations on different kinds of contents available to us in the environment what we arrive at is the product the product can be in the form of units classes relations systems transformations or implications units are wholes classes are groupings or classifications relations are the interrelatedness or interconnectedness of different units of information systems refers to various units working together in a coordinated manner transformations refer to changing the information into new forms or giving new form to information implications refer to the conclusions that can be drawn from information so when you operate on contents available to you in your environment what you arrive at is one or more products which are in the form of units classes relations systems transformations or implications in this way gilford was able to arrive at 150 factors of intelligence five operations into five kinds of contents into six kinds of products result in 150 different factors of intelligence so that is how gilford looked at it initially he came up with only 120 factors which were then raised to 150 factors and the latest model structure of intellect model given by gilford has 180 factors because here in the first column you can see there is one memory this memory gilford divided into long term memory and short term memory so operations then increased to 6 that is why the factors also increased to 180 so the latest revision of structure of intellect model has 180 factors it is noteworthy that each operation processes a particular kind of content to yield a particular product and each such combination is depicted by a trigram symbol for example if we are given a list of words for each word we have to find a synonym out of the five given options now here what we are doing is that we are applying cognition to a semantic unit hence the symbol c for cognition m for semantic and u for unit or c m u for the purpose of examination you do not need to make this diagram in your answer script you just have to give this list of contents products and operations and write all the bullet points and important highlighted points in your answer script that suffices for a good answer on structure of intellect model that's all for today's lecture thank you happy learning